What's up, guys? Welcome to my Team of the Week prediction, episode 18. Um, or for, for Team of the Week 18, anyway. Um, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded the last two Team of the Week predictions. Um, it's been for various reasons, but I haven't been able to upload the last two, uh, which is 16 and 17. Um, but I've got 18 f um, here for you today. And the first player is going to be Mykon, who plays for Roma, as you can see. And now Mo Roma won 4-0 uh, against Genoa at the weekend, uh, with him scoring as well as uh, Benatia, who could also get an inform because it was 4-0, uh, so he got a clean sheet as well, and that would be his third inform. And also Totti and Florenzi scored a, a bicycle kick, so he could be in it as well. Uh, but uh, uh, Mykon played really, really well. Um, he's been playing much better at uh, Roma than he has been at, than he used to at uh, Manchester City. Um, but... I think he will be in the team of the week definitely because he, he had an absolutely amazing performance and um, scoring a goal and getting a clean sheet and playing really well definitely deserves a po uh, place in the team of the week. So I, I'm looking forward to that second in form because it looks perfect apart from his work rates because um, he doesn't have a high defensive work rate. Um, but he's got 81 pace, 78 shooting, 82 passing, 77 dribbling, 84 defence and 81 heading. So really solid all red stats there um, as well as him being 6 foot uh, tall which is really good for a right back. So the next player is going to be Pepe, um, who scored a goal and got a clean sheet in a 1-0 win. So he scored the only goal and a um, 1-0 uh, win um, in Real Madrid's game against Espanyol. It was away for Real Madrid and uh, Espanyol were home. And um, it's quite a close match, I I've heard. And um, Pepe scored the winning goal, so that definitely deserves a place in the Team of the Week, um, as well as playing really well and uh, getting a clean sheet as well. So uh, looking forward to that card because of his 75 pace and uh, good defensive and heading stats as well. So um, hope, hope to see that card in the Team of the Week because I think EA didn't include him in uh, an earlier Team of the Week, one of the first ones, uh, when he played really well as, um, as well. But I think... Uh, this time he will definitely be in it, so looking forward to that card, definitely. So the next player is going to be uh, Lorente or Llorente, uh, who plays for Juventus in the Serie A. Uh, now Juventus won 4-1 away against uh, Cagliari um, in the Serie A, as I said. And um, Cagliari actually went 1-0 up at the start, and then uh, they came back with uh, Llorente scoring two goals. And I don't think he got any assists, but apparently he played really well, so I think he will get a spot in the team of the week. Not as definite as Pepe and Maicon, but I think he will get a spot in the team of the week because two goals for someone who, of that kind of standard, I, I think it's good enough to get yourself in the team of the week as well as playing really well and uh, keeping yourself on the pitch without getting subbed off for someone else. So definitely think he deserves to be in the team of the week. And um, although he hasn't got very good pace or dribbling really, um, his shooting looks pretty decent, um, plus four on that, and um, plus three on his heading from 87 to 90, so he could be a really good uh, person to cross it in and score some headers with, and I'm um, quite looking forward to using him if I do get the chance to. So the next player is going to be another Juventus player. They play really well in that match. And um, it's going to be Licksteiner, uh, who plays right mid or right back if they play four at the back. But it's usually three at back. Um, usually Barzagli, Chiellini and um, Bonucci or uh, Ogbon or Caceres. And this, um, this time I think it was Caceres. Um, but uh, Juventus, he played really well. Uh, he scored one goal and got two assists from the right mid position, which is really good. Or you could say right wing back because he kind of played... Uh, between right mid, he's quite a defensive right midfielder, so uh, you could say right wing back, but uh, and that's really good for a right wing back. Um, one goal and two assists, so definitely deserve to be in a team of the week, and uh, definitely looking forward to using him because uh, in a three five two, because in three five twos you need quite defensive midfielders usually, and um, he will fit into my uh, three five two Syria team really well. So the next player is going to be Adam Johnson, um, who scored a hat trick in Sunderland's 4-1 away win against Fulham, uh, with Key getting the other goal, and they played really well. I saw his goals in the match of the day, and they were quite nice goals as well. So definitely deserves to be in the team of the week. And um, I only actually noticed, guys, um, when I looked at his normal card, he only has 77 pace, and last year uh, I think he had 89 pace. So that's minus 12. Quite a big downgrade, uh, especially for a right midfielder who is faster than 77 pace in real life. Uh, I would have given him an upgrade in pace on his inform uh, to 80 or more, uh, but unfortunately EA don't do that. They only do it by one or two on gold cards. Uh, but definitely deserves the inform and will get an inform 100% uh, because players that always players that score a hat trick always get into the team of the week. So looking forward to using that card if I do because it's only 79 rated so and um, only 78 pace, uh, so not the best, but. Um, if I do get the chance to, I'm sure it'll be quite a nice card to use as well because it was quite good all round stats. So the final player is going to be Domenico Berardi, uh, who is on loan from Juventus at Sassuolo. 
and uh, Sassuolo actually beat Milan 4-3 at home uh, with him scoring all four goals, uh, which is absolutely amazing for a 19-year-old. I'm sure he's got a bright future ahead of him, and uh, that will definitely get him more stories in the press because four goals against a team of uh, Milan standard, who actually aren't doing that well. Uh, they're, I think they're 11th in the table at the moment, which isn't very good at all uh, for a team of that standard. But four goals against them. I think he's the only player ever to score four goals against Milan, uh, which is really, really good. So definitely deserves a spot in the team of the week and obviously will get one because uh, a hat-trick uh, get, gets you uh, a definite place. So four goals will definitely uh, make him go in the team of the week but 82 pace 78 shooting 71 passing and 79 dribbling with the stats I gave him uh, I don't usually include silvers in my team of the week but this time um, I have and I'm not really sure how to, how much to upgrade them because they usually upgrade them more than the golds uh, but I did it how I thought uh, they upgraded his uh, normal card to his first in form uh, this is his second in form by the way and um, he looks like quite a nice card uh, to use in the silver uh, Italian team because there are quite a lot of other uh, good in form silvers which are Italian and also good normal cards which are Italian so looking forward to putting him in a silver Italian team and um, hope he, well, he will get a place in the team of the week uh, but anyway guys uh, thanks for watching please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time